Hi, I'm Chantal from Be Inspired and today I'm going to tell you about our Fiber Rocks box. Included in your first box is a spindle handcrafted by Fred Wright. These um, spindles are Turkish drop spindles. You will get yours in a packet and they will be separate like this. Just slide the arms together, one into the other. Put the little shaft in and push it up tight. If it doesn't fit the first way, then just shift the arms around. It's made to, to fit perfectly. So you end up with a spindle like that. Inside your, your Fiber Rocks box, you'll get a row lag. And this is a row lag, so it's a rolled up piece of fiber. You'll also get a bat that looks like this. And I'm going to show you as a beginner how you spin with these. Now I've only been spinning for about seven months, so I am a beginner myself. Everything that I show you is um, some of it's learned from a friend, Sherilyn, and some from just watching videos. You'll obviously find your own way of, of doing things. Okay, so just tease out a little bit. And you'll find when you pull, if you pull close, if you have your fingers close together and you pull, you, you're not going anywhere because of the length of the fiber. So you just need to find the right length of fiber, the right space between your fingers and just tease it out. Don't tease it out too much like that because it's going to break. Then what you're going to do is just twist up a piece so that you can tie it onto your spindle. doesn't have to be perfect because this piece you don't need to knit or crochet with it. You can always just cut it out. So take your, take your teased out piece of fiber and just give it a twist. Just so it's, if you pull it, it's not going to break. Tie it onto the bottom of your um, spindle. It doesn't have to be tight, just so that it's secure. Then I spin, when I spin, I spin clockwise. So what I need to do is now wrap this piece around the shaft anti-clockwise. Like that. And then I'm going to do a half hitch. And a half hitch, you're just going to twist it like that and you're going to pop it on. So it's like almost like a little slip knot on the top of your spindle. So now, now that you've got it attached and it's attached with the half hitch, you're going to give it a little spin just to put some twist into there. Pinch it and move your fingers up and you'll see the spin moves up into the, into the fiber. As a beginner, you might want to Twist it and then park it between your knees and let the spin move up. So each time you're drafting this out here, you're pinching with your fingers over here, letting these fingers go and you'll see the spin moves up into the fiber. Once you get going, it's much easier. Just be careful also that this fiber, it's quite a challenge when you start, that this fiber doesn't get caught into what you're spinning. So you can park it, pull. Let go here, and sometimes when you start, you're going to just have to help it a little bit. So just twist your fingers and help it spin up. You'll also notice it's a, it might be a little bit wobbly. Your spin might be a little bit wobbly, and each time I'm just flicking it, I'm spinning it clockwise. As you load fiber onto your spindle, it will become easier. When you've got about that much, you can wind it onto your fingers, keeping the tension. Just flick your half hitch off and now you can wind this straight onto your, um, onto, your, onto your little arms of your spindle. What happens is when you take the arms out you'll have a perfect center pull ball. To do this you go over two arms and under one. So over two and under one, over two and under one and as I'm going I'm untwisted from my fingers but I'm keeping the tension. If I let this go it would all spin together. Over two, under one, over two, under one, over two and under one. When you've got about that much, you're going to then wrap it around your shaft again, anti-clockwise. And another half hitch. So around your fingers and through there and pull. So that's basically all that you do to spin. It really is that simple. So clockwise. You'll see it's quite wobbly when before it's got fiber loaded on, but the more fiber you load onto it, the more stable it becomes. So clockwise, and then just draft out. 
pinch, let go there. If you get a little bubble, then you can just always spin it and you can just use your fingers. In the beginning, until you've loaded up your fiber, you're going to have to park it to spin. You'll see that I wrap this piece around my arm because if it drags down here, it does get caught into the spinning. So clockwise, pinch, and pull. And the beauty of these Turkish spindles is because they've got little feet. When you actually, you can actually put them down, they stop spinning. Pull, pinch, let go, and help the pinch move up. And again, wrap it around your fingers and do your half hitch over two and under one arm, over two and under one, over two, under one. So that is beginner spinning. If your fiber breaks while you're spinning, it's not a train smash, put some spin into your into what you've got, park it, make sure you pinch it so the fiber, this piece of fiber, you need to have it unspun. Draft out a little bit from your row leg and just lay them next to each other or alongside each other. And then slowly allow that spin that you've put in to move up and to draft them together. In your fiber rocks box, you'll get a bat. Just open your bat out carefully. Just unfold it and unfold the ends. Then what you'll do is, in order to spin with it, you'll just find a, just tease out a bit where you can find a natural opening and then just gently pull off a piece. And then this is very similar to the row leg that we spun. You just spin it and you can tease it out and you just spin straight from, from that. So thank you for watching. And if you would like to get your hands on your own Fiber Rocks box, you can go to our website, which is beinspired.love.